Oh my goodness. Hey guys. So why am I sitting here in a bathrobe and old clothes and looking crazy? Fix and tell you why. <sighs> okay. So where we're from, we never get snow. I mean, once in a blue moon, like maybe once a year, but it's not very much snow. Well, we got a blizzard. Not really a blizzard. Um, but we did get nine inches of snow, which we're not equipped for. Snow and ice. The temp has been zero degrees and the wind chill has been negative a bazillion. And we've been trapped inside. So my past few videos that y'all have seen have been all about this weather um, because I've been stretching the videos out because I can't leave the house to go anywhere to make any other kind of videos. So on top of all this freezing nonsense and the snow and kids being home from school, everybody's at home. Okay, let me see what else has happened. Oh, by the way, everybody's went berserk and has went to the store and bought everything known to man. There's there's nothing. Like, I wish I had, maybe I can find the pictures. If I can find the pictures, I'm going to go on social media and see if I can find them. If I can find them, I'll put them on here. Y'all can see what I'm talking about. The shelves at the local Walmarts, completely empty. Like, back in, like, pandemic times. You know when everybody went crazy and you couldn't find anything in the store? Same thing right here. Can't find anything in the store. I didn't go out and go crazy buying. I did buy some stuff, but I didn't go crazy buying a bunch of stuff. And now I wish I had because we can't find anything to eat. <laughs> We're not starving, but you know what I mean. Um, my husband did make it out today to the local grocery store and got um, enough stuff for us to make vegetable beef soup. So hopefully that he was like, there's no water still. There's no... Uh, toilet paper there's no um canned drinks there's no milk I'm like oh my gosh okay so everybody went crazy buying everything and then they're having trouble restocking it because of the weather people can't get the trucks in to, yeah it's crazy on top of all that our town pipes water pipes started busting everywhere there was a pipe at the main one of the main tanks that busted completely depleted the plant and people's houses pipes and stuff but praise the good lord ours not bust or haven't yet hopefully they don't <laughs> so with all the pipes busting um we have no water can't wash my hair can't wash my body well i mean with a rag and a little bit of that did the, the fire department has some can water i'll try to put a picture of that here too that we got um that they gave us so we live pretty close to a four-way um i mean it's too cold too far to walk but my husband got on our side by side drove down to the four-way the fire department was sending a truck to the four-way where people could get all the way to the fire department and delivering water so my husband was able to get us some water you know for like drinking and eating and cooking and stuff so um that's was a good thing um but yeah it's just been crazy on top of that malia got sick with i don't know what she had a really bad headache and then like a fever for 24 hours and now she has like this extremely bad cold um she's not in pain she just feels bad you know what I mean and then Samuel started coming down with it like two days ago and today I may be coming down with it I'm like, oh my gosh. But maybe it'll be over with before school starts and work and all that and we can just be done with all this mess just let the snow melt and the germs melt away with it you know what I mean so if I'm looking like a hot mess, I have old clothes on because I can't wash any of my clothes. And this is actually Jeffrey's old t-shirt, you know, but, and a robe on so I don't freeze to death. So since we're trapped inside and I can't go anywhere and make any kind of other videos, I thought it would be fun. Maybe not fun. I don't know how much fun we're going to have doing this, but I just thought I would show y'all my latest Amazon haul. So this is not everything I bought at one time. This is just stuff that I've bought over like past several weeks and it's been collected in these two bags. <laughs> these big old sacks that you can't see right here. Um, and I just thought I would show it to you now. Hopefully, this is the last of the trapped inside videos that I will be making. And we can get on with our life. But hopefully, it's the first of a video like this. Because I thought, I would like to do this several times a year because I shop on Amazon all the time. This is not affiliated with it. I'm not affiliated with Amazon in any way. This is not sponsored. But I do shop through Amazon all the time. So I thought it would be cool if I made periodically throughout the year, just like my Amazon hauls and show you what kind of mess I buy on Amazon, all kinds of crap. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's get started. Okay. First things first. So 
My daughter is turning five very soon. I actually did not get this for her birthday, though, because I got her some other stuff, which I'm going to show you. Um, but I shop because um, I've been shopping for her birthday. I've been looking at other toys, you know, and just like if it's a really good deal or in clearance or I got a coupon or, or whatever, then I'm going to buy it because I can save it for Christmas or Easter or whatever other holiday there is. Um, I, I shop for Christmas and stuff like all year long. So it's not, I mean, it's already stressful enough Christmas, right? You don't want it to be even more stressful than it has to be. So I shop all year and I just hide stuff. So I found this. Can y'all see this? It's an Encanto doll. It's, uh, what's her name? What's the name? Mirabelle. Mirabelle. I've only seen this a couple times, so I don't remember all the characters' names or anything. But she was only, um, I think, $11. I'm not sure what she is now. Let me check my phone. I'm going to tell you what she is now. Okay, it was showing um, $13.99 right now. It still isn't a bad price. But I only paid $9.49 for whatever reason. I don't know if it was on sale or whatever. I don't know why. But I wanted her to give to Scarlett. Well, she's super cute. But she has these glasses. Who else do we know that wears glasses? Anyway, the glasses were cute. That's why I wanted her. <laughs> it's just like, why not? So, another thing that I got her was this doll right here. Um, I actually bought two of these. This is Rapunzel as a baby. It comes with a pacifier and a bottle. Um, I bought two of them. Scarlet's is already wrapped. This is the other one I bought um, because I know another little girl that's four days before Scarlet turns five. The other little girl turns four. And so, I was like, oh, I'm just going to get two. This was the one that was like $11 or something. I don't know how much it is now. If I can find any of this stuff, I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see what I'm maybe see it better or maybe see the prices kind of what it is now but it was like 11 something I think is what I gave for it I don't really remember but not very much and so I got two of them I got one for Scarlett and one for the other little girl that we know okay so still on along the line of see my hair sticking up it's beautiful um toys so this is the crybaby's bff doll and it comes in this cool, cool little tumbler and it's like a surprise, well, she's not really surprised. This tells you what she looks like right here. But anyway, surprise doll inside with um, surprise accessories. Uh, I forget how much I paid for this, but I think Santa Claus, he found one um, at Walmart right before Christmas for a deal of a deal. I can't remember how much it was, but he got it cheap. And this was one of Scarlett's favorite things that she opened. And it was a really cute doll and came with cute little stuff like a purse and a hat and shoes and Maybe some other thing. Anyway, she absolutely loved it. So I went on Amazon, found another one, and I'm going to put this back for, you know, Christmas or something. Just, you know, whatever. A put back gift. Okay, speaking of Christmas. So I had this idea actually right before last Christmas, but it was too late to do what I wanted to do because I literally thought about it like probably like a week before Christmas. But this coming Christmas, what I would like to do for like an Advent kind of thing for Scarlett, who will be five next Christmas. Um, now my two oldest kids are not going to care anything about this, but I thought it would be great if every day for 25 days, starting on December 1st till December day, she opened up, like they were all wrapped individually, and she opened up a new little storybook about Christmas, Christmassy like storybook to read every day. I thought that would be really fun. And, um, in order to do that though, you need 25 <laughs> Christmas books. Well, the best time, in case you didn't know, to buy Christmas books for children is right after Christmas. Um because everything's marked down really cheap, especially on Amazon, I found some great deals. So in order to collect 25 books between now and Christmas, I had to start buying now. So I've already bought two and I'm gonna show you what they are. Okay, so this one, we already have The Night Before Christmas, a book that I've been, I mean, we've all we've all been reading right our whole lives. Um, so I've had this one book for years and years, but the only thing is it's missing a page. Not that it's been ripped out, it's like it was just like a misprint, like they didn't print it. And it's the part where it's like, on Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen on Common and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen to the top of the porch to the top of the wall and a dash away, dash away, dash away, y'all. That page is not in there. So I know most of the story by heart. So when I get to where it's supposed to be in the book, I just recite it. Nobody knows the difference. Um, but I, I, I would like to replace that book with a really nice, nicer version later on. But I found this a little golden book, The Night Before Christmas. And it's very vintagey looking. Do you see there? Let me show the inside of it. And I love the whole vintagey, Christmassy thing feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, can you see? Can you see? Am I showing it where you can see? Anyway, um, 
and it had all of the words in here. It has on Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen on Common Cupid and Dobbin and Blitz. It has all that in here. Um, anyway, it's just very, like I said, vintagey. And it's a little golden book, so classic, right? Classic. And this book, I kid you not, was $1.99. Free shipping, $1.99 from Amazon. So I bought that one. And then I bought this one. The Bernstein Bears, The Joy of Giving. Um, you know, never read it, but hey, can't go wrong with the Bernstein Bears. And this one was only $2.99. So I've already started my Christmas Advent book collection. I'm running out of room here. I got surrounded by stuff. Um, okay, so this, this is not Scarlet related, believe it or not. Moving on to another kid. Um, I think I'm going to give this to Malia in her Easter basket. Malia is my oldest and she's 15 and she's really into like murder mysteries and that kind of stuff. And so I had seen this on something somewhere. I don't remember what I saw it on a video maybe or something, but it's a book and it's called Myrtle volume one, 100 elementary to impossible. I can't read. That's what it says. I'm just reading slow. Like a, like I don't know how to read. Myrtle is the name of this book. Volume 1, 100 Elementary to Impossible Mysteries to Solve Using Logic Skill and the Power of Deduction. So it's not like a murder mystery book that you, like a story. It's got mysteries in it that you solve. And I, it's in the plastic, so I would take it out and like um, look through it because I haven't even looked through it. I haven't even opened it. But I kind of want to keep it in the plastic and intact so it's in good shape. For my daughter Easter, but y'all get the general idea. This was only like how much was one? No, I think the volume one was a little bit more. I think like volume two and three was only like eight and nine dollars. I don't remember how much I paid for this one. Um, but it was a little bit more, I guess maybe volume one's hard to find. I wanted to start with volume one. I imagine they're all the same. You could start with any volume, but I was just like, I'm gonna get volume one. And if she really likes it, then we'll go to volume two and volume three and so on. Um, but yeah, it's it's these now in print, The Puzzle Sensation from Myrtle.com. Apparently, there's a website. Maybe you can go to Myrtle.com and play some murder mystery games. Use your mind a little bit. Anyway, it looks really cool, and I think she's really going to like it. Oh, my goodness. Back to Scarlet. It looks like I just spent all my money on Scarlet. Um, it's just recently, her birthday's been coming up, and I've just, yeah, that's, yeah, whatever. You get the general idea. It's a toothbrush. It's Elsa. I think this was, like, maybe $5 and something. It's an electric toothbrush. Um, Oral B. I actually usually get the kids toothbrushes in their stockings every year, and I didn't do that this year. I don't know what I was thinking. But um, she's been having some trouble with her teeth lately, and she's got to have, you know, be put all the way to sleep at the hospital to have it worked on because she's been slightly traumatized at the dentist. So I thought, well, new teeth, new toothbrush. Maybe. I don't know if I'll give it to you. I'll probably just go ahead and give it to her probably around the time, like right after she has her teeth done. It's coming up in about a month. So I thought maybe I just like, oh, you did so great. You need a toothbrush, you know, whatever. Either that or I'll stick it in her Easter basket. I don't know. Okay, Molly. Do I have anything for Samuel? I don't think I have one thing in here that I've bought for Samuel. He's so hard to buy for, though. Man, really, I mean, if there's a kid that I do last minute, it is definitely Samuel because I'm like, I, I, I don't know. Um, he's a 10-year-old little boy. He will be 11 in March. So his 11th birthday is coming up really fast. And he's just not real big into toys, but he wants toys. He doesn't want, like, all clothes and stuff, but he's kind of morphing over into wanting older stuff. I don't know. It's so hard. It's just so hard. So these were, like, $7.99. And I was hesitant to buy them because I was like, I don't know, seven ninety nine. dollars 99 But let me just tell you, I'm really glad I did. They're little stud. Can you see? I can't. I don't think they show up good on the... Are they showing up? I'm trying to mm, mm, focus on this. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put a picture up of these um, from Amazon. I don't even think the picture is going to do them justice. They're so sparkly and so pretty. They're like a rose gold. They're fake, obviously, $7.99. But they're just um, little like rose gold studs that I got for Malia. I'm going to put in her Easter basket because she likes 
small earrings and stuff. She likes rose gold. And I read the reviews and I was like hesitant to buy them. I was like, I don't know because a few of the reviews were saying that the post were bent on them. But somebody did say like, well, I just bent mine back and it was fine. But mine didn't come bent or anything. Mine looked great. And I wish they would, I wish I could get them to show up. Maybe I can get another clip when I get off here. Um, I can't even hold, I don't even know how to hold it up in front of the, <laughs> look at it. Can you see it? No, you can't see it from up there. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll try to zoom in on them and insert that. But anyway, I thought for $7.99, if they turned out terrible, um, you know, whatever. It was just eight bucks, but they actually are really, really pretty. Okay, Scarlett's birthday. So I got her that Rapunzel doll and I got her a Cinderella doll that I thought was like that um, Mirabelle doll that I showed you at the very beginning. She's like that size, except it's Cinderella. And I actually thought that I was buying Elsa because I was half paying attention. I saw a blue dress, blonde hair, and I was like, oh, it's Elsa. Let me get that. I think I paid $19 for it. Um, when I got it in the mail, that's when I realized, oh, this isn't Elsa. This is um, Cinderella. Whatever. I think Scarlett's still going to like her. She's still going to play with her. I'll pop a picture up here so y'all can see. I've already wrapped her, so I'm sure that I have a picture somewhere on, I can find one on Amazon and show you what I'm talking about. But I got her that and I got her the Rapunzel baby doll. And so I also got her, she wants a bike, which I haven't got yet. And I'm running out of time. So I got to get to the store when all this blizzard goes away and get her a bike. Um, but have y'all ever heard of dot markers? Dot markers. You see them? So they're a marker that you literally, it's just like round on the end and you make dots with them. Um, and I saw these somewhere. We have never had any and I thought this looked really cool. And I don't remember how much to pay for them, but came off Amazon. And to go with that, um, together as a gift, dot marker book. See, see, it's going to have like these round things in here and you just dot it with the marker. I'll show you the inside. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about, but just in case. See? And then the circles you just use the dot markers. So this was only like six bucks, I think. I really can't. These may have been over ten dollars. I can't. I feels like it feels like maybe they're listed for over ten dollars now because I looked at them the other day, but I didn't give that much, I don't think. If I can see how much I gave for it, I'll put it up on the screen. So y'all know, but I, she's really, Scarlett is really into coloring and arts and stuff. So she's going to love this right up her alley. And I got her this, the box is pretty beat up, but it's a double doodle board. So one side, you, it's like a gel thing you can use with your finger and this side you can color on with crayons and then just wipe it off. So creative, fun stuff. This was not very much either. Again, I don't know, I remember how much it was, but not very much. So I got her that for her birthday and the two dolls and a bike and I have ordered a Paw Patrol game for um, our Switch because the only thing that Scarlet we have that she can play right now is Minecraft whenever we let her play it and which she's really good at actually but I thought I would like to get her something else maybe something more her age range so I thought Paw Patrol she loves Paw Patrol I've ordered it and it says it's gonna be here right before her birthday I'll put that on the screen I don't know if it's gonna get here before her birthday or not I got that for a deal of a steal too. I'll see hang on um, let me pull it up on my, my phone. Um, hold on a second. Okay, it's currently listed for $29. Like, what? $28.99 or something. I paid $14.99 for it, free shipping. So, I got that for a really good deal. Um, $14.99 is way better than $29. I mean, you know. So, hopefully that'll come in time and I can give her that. So, I mean, like, how much is too much? You know what I mean? I wanted to give her a bike, but I wanted to give her some presents to open. Um, because the poor child's birthday is right after Christmas. And it's like, then she's got to wait a whole nother year before she gets presents again, you know? And I mean, well, she does like, she gets an Easter basket and I gave her like some candy at Valentine's day. But other than that, she has to wait a whole nother year for more presents. And that's not fun. So I wanted to give her some presents to open. So that's what we're doing. This is not a birthday haul. I know it seems like it is, but it's not. It's just my Amazon haul. Is that everything? <sighs> I had to take a break and cough. Oh, my throat is so scratchy. Um, yeah, that's everything. So I did order. I had two things that were coming together and I had to get a refund because they got lost in the mail. But one of the things that I ordered was a 
one of those microfiber towels for your hair. It went, okay, so I have really thick, curly, frizzy, naturally curly, frizzy, thick hair. My daughters do too. My sister does. And I seen somewhere where you're not even supposed to use real towels on hair. I seen this ages ago, but like, whatever. I, we just use Repco towels. And um, anyway, I saw this thing that said that you're supposed to use like these microfiber special towels on hair like that. And so my sister's birthday was coming up. So I ordered her one. Um, they're like 20 bucks. And anyway, I got lost. And like right before her birthday, I had to run to the store and come up with another present for her. Um, but I kind of wish it would show up because I could give that to Malia or Argy. Give it to my sister later on for another present. But the other thing that was in the thing was um, a kinetic sand kit. It was like an ice cream scoop thing. If you don't know what kinetic sand is, I'll pop a picture up here. It's fun stuff for kids to play with. It's like sandy, but it's not real sand. I don't know how to explain it. It's more like Play-Doh like, but sand. And my kid, well, Scarlett loves it. And so she has one that's like a mermaid kinetic sand kit. And then she has just some like little kinetic sand and some little accessories. It's nothing special. I thought, well, I'll get her another one because she loves that. Now she play with it. I'll get her the ice cream one, which it was only like 14 bucks or something, maybe. But it's lost in oblivion. So I kind of wish that would show up too. But I don't think they're going to. So, anyways, those two things I got. I, Amazon's really good about that. If something gets lost in the mail, they'll help you out and they'll give you a refund. All you got to do is contact them. And it's not a big deal. You just go on their little chat thing and tell them, and yeah, they'll refund you. So, um, anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully, the next video is more fun than this, <laughs> but I do plan on doing more videos like this because, like I said, I order from Amazon all the time, and I will show y'all the random stuff that I buy. All right, see you guys next time.